Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a Heyday Pop video. And today's video focuses the coffee shop. Now as you start progressing the game and you start opening up more areas, you'll be able to buy new machinery, get new crops and animals within the game, in addition to the decoration that comes from uh, building up the coins and buying those pieces as well. Now level 14 was open recently, which I do like, I'm working on my way towards level 15 at the moment, but this young lady that's down there in the corner, young Mavis, keeps telling me that she wants me to get a coffee shop. So she likes to sleep, but she wants that coffee shop so badly and you know what today I'm going to help her out now at my level I do have the ability to buy the shop and I now have enough coins as well I need uh, 1380 as you can see there's a nice amount of XP the turnaround time is quite a few hours and with the machines within the game you don't really have to do anything except to buy them and collect the resources when they're done which gives you some kind of reward so I wonder what the first reward will be as I actually open up this machine for the first time. Now there's a beautiful area over there which is very cool indeed. There's a little bit more space over there I like as well. But recently, mm, difficult decision. Should I do that? And I want to save that for later. I really do. That's going to be my new house location once I start redesigning more later. This will be my area to the public, I think. I've got the bakery there already. I've already you got the flower shop as well there's the bridge coming across there's my crop area do you know what I'm gonna place it down here uh, I think if I remove the flowers there I remove the actual boat I can place the actual building down in this location it'd be wonderful now there are a couple of trees that are in the way they can be chopped down uh, and I think maybe the coffee shop near my honey machine will be perfect I can have coffee with honey together yeah I like that well there we go now let's see if we can place it down if I put it down there it's too close to the waterway which at the moment is a bit of an issue until I open up all of the other areas I guess I'd like to put it there uh, turning it around doesn't really make it better but that tree is in the way I'm sorry I'm gonna have to remove a tree I really really am uh, I want to place it around that location maybe a little bit back towards the water uh, and that tree is just blocking it um, not happy not happy not happy so we will put that back in the storage take the tree down get some more coins anyway then I can place it down there more towards the back and it's perfect okay I like that now because of its proximity to the actual edge if I do decide to bring down some of the hedgerows or other pieces it's kind of okay but it it again takes up too much space so I'm going to leave that area open I think my first reward was a popcorn, which is very nice. I wonder if I'll get some more of that next time. Coffee and popcorn is very good. In fact, coffee and popcorn is brilliant. Now, within the game, I still need to buy some more decoration. I also got to get some more animals. I'm specifically interested in the cows as well. They're very cool indeed, and I will get that one later. Now, at the moment, as I said, okay, I was thinking about adding some hedgerows or path pieces down there. So we've got to make this a little bit more. Now, I do like this cobblestone pathway. The only trouble is it doesn't actually join with the other path piece that's down there, which is a shame. So what I'm going to do is to use the two trees, I think. If I actually have a path piece coming into the center just there, as though it's going to join, and then bring the pathway up, and then maybe curve it in, uh, it will look much, much better indeed. So I think I'm going to have to remove all of these pieces for the moment. So we click on that one, take away that piece. There we go. Take away all of those and take that one as well. Back to the centerpiece there, which is good. Come back to the start. Bring it in the curve straight into the coffee shop as it goes underneath. Lovely. Right now, we've got our coffee shop sorted. We need some decoration. Now the hedgerows, as I said, are a little bit too large. Uh, they don't really go up against the side there very well and they would block it off more than what I want so that's the same with the fencing now I do have some fencing they're a lot skinnier uh, but again not really necessary for me at the moment uh, I'm actually more tempted I think to use the flower boat now I took the boat away from before uh, if I bring that in with some of the trees, then maybe I can make a nice little design. Let's do the tree first of all, place that one down there, then grab the boat. I, okay, I'm going to have to move the tree. Uh, it's too close and I need a bit of space there. So the boat there looks kind of okay. Move the tree over to the other side by the actual beehives. Bring that down one. Okay, that looks way better. I'm satisfied with that one. 
Right, so everybody, welcome to my new coffee shop. It's uh, a nice machine to have within the game. There's still a lot more that I need to do, of course, but we will see as we progress the game. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, and I will see you next time when I play Heyday Pop. In fact, I'm going to be posting some more videos soon because there's some new changes coming. So do check on the actual imagery that's coming up here in this imagery here. That will talk about some new mechanics that are going to be released within the game for the next season and I cannot wait the fish are coming and speaking of coming you need to come back again and again so make sure you subscribe and hit a beautiful bell notification and good luck with your puzzles see you